Let's go to the main menu and click Docs. Make sure Yours is selected and then at the far right click the blue button labeled New. Locate in the menu about halfway down Reading Plan and click it. There are three options. Choose a predefined reading plan, generate a reading plan, and custom reading plan. We'll explore all of these options in more detail in a later video, but for this video, let's choose the middle option, generate a reading plan. The reading plan window has opened. We now need to set the criteria to choose which book we're going to read and how often we want to read from it. Now, my Bible was chosen by default. You'll notice which options you can change because they're highlighted in blue and underlined. The first one says read all passages. In this case, I do want the whole Bible. Then it says by default, then in the New American Standard Bible. This is where you can change the book, and it can be a Bible or it can be a non-Bible. Let's go ahead and click this third option, as seen here. A mini library browser window has opened up, and it will begin to list all your books, alphabetical order, starting with books with numbers 0 through 9, and then A through Z. Let's click in the Find Resources box so we can search for a specific book. I have typed in the search box Concise Theology Packer, and that found the book Concise Theology, A Guide to Historical Christian Beliefs by J.I. Packer. Now, if you have that book, go ahead and type those three words. If you don't, go ahead and type any book that you wish to read. Once your book appears, then click the title, as seen here. Now, some of the options will change since we're not reading a Bible. Notice it now says all passages, and that really is just like the Bible, but in this case, it'll be all chapters. Then we have our book name. Then we have every day, starting today and finishing in one year. Let's choose the in one year option so we can choose how much time we want to spend reading this book. Logos provides a window with multiple intervals. We have the one year interval, six months. We can then specify the number of weeks as well as the number of sessions I like this option so that I'm not stuck to a calendar, but rather choosing the number of times I'd like to sit down and read this resource. Below sessions is verses, and below verses is a end date that you can choose. Let's go ahead and choose the circle next to 365 sessions. Now that sessions is selected, we can then click in the box and change 365 to the number of sessions we prefer. So therefore, go ahead and click 365. Go ahead and type 20. Once 20 is entered, click the Start button located here at the top right. In a few moments, Logos will generate a reading plan, dividing the whole book into 20 reading sessions. By the way, at the top left, you may see an option, Export to Outlook. If you're on a Mac, it'll say Export to iCal. Go ahead and click that menu option. The Export to Outlook and iCal option allows you to schedule your reading time like an appointment. Here we have start time of 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. We can also set a reminder, and we can also show time as free or busy. Now, if you choose this option, be aware that it's going to set up the events individually. In other words, if you want to remove these from the calendar, you'll have to remove them individually. It is not set up as a series. Let's go ahead and click Export to Outlook or Export to iCal once again to close this menu. Now, to the right of the title, you'll see a gray box. Now, depending on your font size and the size of your screen, you may just see this gray box like mine, or you may have some words in it. Go ahead and click this gray box. These three options control the view of your reading plan. You can have an overview, a calendar view, and a list view. Let's choose the middle option and click on Calendar. I really like the calendar view, especially if you intend to print this out. Now, to print out the calendar view or the list view or the overview, you need to go to the top right of the window and click the Options menu. That is, the three vertical dots or the stoplight menu, as seen here. Locate the first option in the menu, Print Export, and click that menu option. In a few moments, the Print Export window will open. You may need to maximize the window by clicking the Maximize button at the top right for PC or at the top left of a Mac. Now you have two options at the left, Print as shown on screen or Print as exported. Notice that Print as exported gives me a calendar but in a list view. So let's go ahead and click on Print as shown on screen at the left. We now can print the calendar view. Notice we can export at the bottom right to various documents. To print, simply click the Print button. 
Let's go ahead and close this window by clicking on the X at the top right for PC. If you're on a Mac, click on the X at the top left. Now, when you create a new reading plan, it is automatically added to your homepage. So let's go find it. Therefore, click on the Home button located here at the top left. Now, depending how many documents you have on your homepage, you may have to scroll down a little bit to find it. Here, we have Reading Plan Reconcise Theology. Logos uses a variety of graphics, so your graphic for your reading plan may be different than mine. Now, over at the right, at the top, you'll see the Options menu, the Stoplight menu. Go ahead and click those three vertical dots. Logos only provides one menu option, Remove Card. So, if you want to reduce the clutter on your homepage, click Remove Card. To close this menu without removing the card, press the Escape button on your keyboard. Now, to close the home page and return to our reading plan, we just need to click the Home button, which is like a toggle switch. Therefore, click the Home button as seen here. Let's close our reading plan by clicking on the X on the tab located here. Now, one of the improvements with Logos 9 for desktop and mobile is that the reading plan has been improved with the mobile app. And that's what you see on the screen right now. This is my Logos mobile app. If you have a smartphone with the Logos app, go ahead and open the software on your mobile device, and this can be an iPad too, and click the three bar menu at the bottom right, that is the hamburger menu. Scroll down in the menu until you locate reading plan and tap it. Logos will sort your most recent reading plan at the top. Locate Read Concise Theology and tap that reading plan to open and view. The reading plan will open to the next session to be read, in this case, the first session. Once you've completed reading the section, all you need to do is click on the Finish button and that will give you confirmation that you've finished your session. Let's go up to the top left, though, and click on Overview to see all the reading sessions. In the Overview section, you will see a Read button located here. That's to let you know what the next session to be read is. Down below are the future reading sessions, which, by the way, you can jump to those as well. But let's go and read our next session by clicking on the Read button located here. So as you can see, Logos makes it real easy to read your books, whether on your PC or Mac or your mobile device.